Hey, what's up? It's Lightning Hill 14 here. Today I'm doing another um, Nerf video, and today we're going to be tackling another type of tactical gear, and I'll show you how to make it yourself. So, in this video, we're going to be building a sledge fire shell holder that is very secure. I can check this around as much as I want, it's not going anywhere. Um, this whole thing, it was very cheap, it cost me around, I'd say, eh, probably three dollars or so. For just, and that was only the binder clips. So, for this project, you will need my tactical rail attachment piece, or some other Nerf tactical rail attachment piece, like you can get them off of um, some Nerf guns. And if you don't have one of those, go check out my uh, other video, which I will link in the description below. So go check it out, because you will need it for this project. So, let's get started. So, tools you will need are pliers, preferably two pair, binder clips. You want either the large ones or the medium sized ones. These small ones, don't want them. Garbage. So what you're going to want to do is first you pick, insert your is you excuse me is you see these little tab things pinch inwards remove pinch inwards remove then you stick your oops, your pliers into either side like so and then basically you carefully pry them apart until these little ridge things right there and right there are facing inwards so that it looks like this. See how the ridges are facing inwards? If you're younger you would you will want an adult to help you with this step because these can take a fair amount of force to remove so again get some adult help. Um, then basically all I did was was I duct taped it to my tactical rail attachment piece and with strips going through through the binder clip and then under the tactical rail attachment piece so yeah that's basically what I did and then to you just you just want to bend it so that your clips are at a vertical angle 90 degrees then just stick your shells in just be sure to leave some room in between your sh in between your binder clips, like I did, because otherwise um, they will run into each other, and it will not work. The binder clips just fit into these um, these grooves on the shells, um, and that's basically it. So now you know how to make a tactical attachment piece that will hold sledge fire shells. Uh, I made this as an alternative to a 3D printed piece I saw on Slidev, and I thought, well that doesn't look too difficult, I'll just make it, and so I did. So that's it for today's video, if you enjoyed the video, remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.